sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Fashion week. Let me keep it by that me. Don't ever leave me. What's funny, Sway? She don't even know me. Hey, she like that. Hey, sing along. She know the words to every song. Hey, she like that. Getting her dance on. She know the words. Sing every song. Now it is the one why Clef has joined us, 888-742-3345. We're going to take a bunch of phone calls. Be quick with your questions. Eric in NYC, go ahead. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's up? Right. Turn, your, turn your radio down, Eric. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. It's, it's definitely down. I'm in the whip. Hold up a second. I got you. I'm, I'm right. Yeah, take your time. Yeah, I got all the time in the world for you, Eric. Go ahead, man. Uh, nah, you know, I just wanted to say why Clef, man. It's a pleasure, man. And that was definitely... One of the best concert series I've heard in a long time. So, you know what I mean? Thank and you, man. Respect, man. I really do appreciate what you do, you know what I mean, for everything. And my love goes out to your country. Sometimes I hate living in America, you know what I mean? Because uh, we see it. how it goes around. Man, don't, 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 don't hate it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great place to live. Trust. You travel. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't hate America living in America. Yeah, and I gotta tell you, man. Like I'm a, I'm a prime example of what I call the American dream. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you, real talk. I've traveled the whole. Like when you look at the globe, you Google Earth. Yeah. I think I've traveled like what I would say sixty percent of the world. Yeah. Mm. Already, and I gotta tell you, bro, this really the only country that exists where we really get that opportunity where you you know a man could be like in his garage making donuts and next thing you know it turned into crispy donuts you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah. a mm -hmm. dude could be like yo i think i have an idea for this technology then it turns out to be google mm -hmm. this is you know what i'm saying i've learned that this is the this is the only country when we talk about like the immigrants um this allows you to do anything that you want to do you know what i mean and i always tell the youth that important y'all know that land of opportunity a lot of people make your uh compare your style to the the, the late great bob marley mm -hmm. um some do it in favor some do it in critique how do you respond to that well i mean the thing is there's nothing new under the sun yeah i didn't create myself somebody created me mm -hmm. so before me my ancestors was around and they went Africa. Bob Marley ancestors was in parts of Africa and Europe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes our voice that's given to us at the end of the day, it's like it's scary sometimes because I could sit back and listen to all of the Marleys and I love all of them. But sometimes I'm like, damn, am I like an adapted son of Marley's? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that it, but the thing is, at the end of the day, we always hear artists that reminisce off of older artists. Mm -hmm. So it's not just me that get that critique. You can have your favorite R&B singer, and you're like, yo, this person is dope, but they remind me of R. Kelly. Then you can hear R. Kelly and say, R. Kelly remind me of Boom Boom Boom. Yeah. Um, I just think, like, in the hood, like, or just people, when they hear me, they be like, yo, he reminds us of Barb. But for me to take 24-7 time, like, I'm not the kid who <laughs> would take 24-7 and and sit on a recorder and I'm going, let me try to mimic um, Bob what, what yeah. Barb would sound like. Yeah. It's just that, you know what I'm saying? Like when I go, eh, it's just what it is. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, even before Barb, whatever tribe that was, there's people in Africa when they say, hey, you get that same feeling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's all love to to uh, to 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 the people that, that, that love my voice and to the others that says, yo, is he trying to imitate Barb Marley? Um, I can't imitate Bob Marley. Bob Marley is like, you know, one of the greatest singers of all time. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. We got White Club John in here. The, um, the mix safe is April showers. Make sure you download that. 54 minutes into the hour. One last question from Antonio from Kansas City. Go ahead. Hey, what's the deal, White Club, man? Well, what's up, fan? Hey, man. I was just having a quick, quick question for you, man. What, what, what weapon would you make the saxophone or and the trumpet into if you was? Yeah, yeah. I, no, that's a good question. I think I think I have my, my dude here. I would think one of the things is if we're going to take the trumpet, there's a way to take the trumpet and to turn it into uh, the, the hornish part of it. We could make into like a bazooka piece. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying mm -hmm. to you? And uh, and then basically the front of it, the trumpet, 
versus blowing into that that piece of the trumpet, we could make that a bullet. You see what I'm saying to you? So, so everything we could convert, we could convert into a form where we could take the most dangerous instrument and and turn it into into a weapon and make it cool to play. But the idea beyond turning it into a weapon, you still need cool musicians that can act. So it's not like yo, you know, you pick up a guy. Like the first thing the sister says when I bought the guitar, she was like, "Yo, it looks really good. Do it really play." Yeah. And then when I played it, she was like, "Oh, this is actually." So that's the idea. The idea of this movement is to actually make the kids want to try to play the play instruments. instruments. Now, how yeah. can people purchase them from you, or if they want to? Yeah. Get yeah, you right. to make one. Yeah. yeah, what we do is you could go on whyclef.com mm -hmm. and basically leave your comments about the guitars, you know, and basically we're going to have a YouTube site where you can go and we'll have, you know, we'll put up, we'll post up lessons first to show you how to use it basically. And then once you figure that out, then we'll take you to a website. But look, before saying to you, yo, give me, because you know the guitars is like my, George, uh, what is it, George Foreman grill. That's yeah. going to be like my George Foreman grill. Mm -hmm. But before I go ahead and say, yo, purchase a guitar, I would rather give you a lesson on YouTube and first make sure that you really want to play into it. that. Yeah. Because I don't just want you to pick up the instrument for profile. I actually want kids to do that. So check us on whyclef.com. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.